Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Analysis reveals the chemical signature of this compound is 80% semblant of fertilizer used in the purpleberry orchards. The other 20% is semblant of whole water. Yikes. All right, we'll work on this quest. Um... Raid the pool cleaner. Okay, chemical. Speak to the mysterious note writer. The pool. The clues are prevalent. The pool's odor it should be enough to easily source after description amplifier. Already investigated the pool. Is there more? Am I more? Am I missing? Oh. Mechanical contraption for propagating chemicals inserted above uh, through the pool water. Someone has scratched a sentence into the filter plating area and was here. Go back talk to him. Hi again! It's like I just saw ya. Pool's still closed, unfortunately. Looks like the chemicals can be added to uh, the pool filter. I'm gonna attempt to make the pool cleaner. All sounds right by me. It'll be nice to actually have guests to guard. Sinuses that work. I'll concoct a solution uh, to exercise the odorous particles with severe efficiency. All right. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. Great minds think alike. As so long as you don't want to go in, I can answer anything you like. Don't fertilize in the pool water. Is that normal? Hell no, it ain't normal. Oh, almighty, that's a screw up like none I ever seen. Almost seems foolish enough. It must have been done on purpose. Yeah. Pretty heavily armed for a pool guard, aren't you? Uh, yeah, it's part of the job. I think I'm listed as a security consultant. But all that really means is that if I'm caught without this thing, I get put on pool guard duty. I don't know what happens if I'm caught without it on pool guard duty, but I know that I don't want to find out. Said that Rizzo hired someone to do the cleaning? Yep, still dead. Usually Rizzo's is pretty good at making sure the people they hire ain't got tripacale for brains, but that fella clearly wasn't worth trusting. I met him briefly once. Seemed level-headed enough, but that must have been just a front. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made such a mess of things. All right. Sounds good to me. Get my way. Uh, somebody upstairs here? Poor Howard dwelt. All right, we'll go up there first. We've already been to this other place earlier. Yep. I saw you meander on out of the pool and into the greenhouse. Now you're here. Does that mean what I think it means? I read your notes. Suffice to say, just it. Good. If you're interested in burying the pool, I'm interested in paying you. I go after the hotel pool, not exactly the most high-profile target. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I just want Rizzo's working relationship with Slug to implode for the benefit of Spacer's choice. But you're right, it ain't high-profile. And it ain't gotta be. Any damage to Rizzo's is cause for celebration. You ain't gotta concern yourself with my spite. Consider me an average Byzantine, and I'll consider you an average contractor. Yeah, I don't want to be wrapped up with our things. Well, I hope you'll soon see Rizzo's for what they are, and help me bring them low. Mentioned Spacer's Choice is a good one. Nobody's really good in this place, though. Alright, so let's go over here. Mix up some chemicals. I think my science is really high, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue.
Blue water coloring. What? That one. Oxlater. Okay. Blue water coloring. Those are the same. Or in salt. Or in salt is red, number one. see red oh all right blue dye I already got blue dye Blue die? Blue die can't go first? Does it matter in an order? <laughs> Removed in chemicals vats. Confirmed. Spacer's Choice Rep. What, did I do it right? I don't know. Cool's nothing but an acrid mess of concrete, I hear. I hope I'll hear the sound of Rizzo's heads hitting the floor next. Usually when I wreck something, it's uh, I'm the one who gets in trouble. Feels good. Also, I did wreck it. Revolutions have been started over less, I reckon. Maybe. Probably. Here's your pay. Space's Choice thanks you for your contributions to future That's profits. How's chaos, I guess? Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. I guess it maybe had to actually been in that order. Alright, so. Ludovic go, okay. to spell the name of her killer? This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Could it be Birdie? He could stand for anything, like Spectrum Brown? Now calculating likelihood of Halcyon Helen using her final moments to endorse Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. <laughs> Low to moderate likelihood. 
Isn't Black Hole Birdie staying here? Mr. Birdie Holcomb is indeed known to frequent places of leisure and hospitality, as rare as they are in Halcyon. Correct. Bertie Black Hole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. All right. Anybody else I should know about? Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage 3001. Make notice for later. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre-approved compliment. Splendid work, Inspector. Nice. Thanks. All right. First things first, I got to take a bathroom break. So I will be right back. All right. All right. We're gonna look at the map. Okay, so we investigated these two areas. I still got a few more. Yeah, this place is pretty big, actually. Other than slug caught this. Searching slug work logs. No work log found. Creating conjecture. Slug has likely not fixed this issue due to a lack of responsibility on the part of their employees. It's normal. Most corporations have regular cleaning procedures to prevent damage to company property. Slug, already unlike most corporations in a variety of ways, does not. That or the employees tasked with inspecting are shirking their duties. For shame. Wait, Captain. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Performing scan. Gaslight appears to have gone out some time ago. Chance of explosive combustion without gaslight, 
crawl through or anything. It's... Out of order notice. Please excuse our mess. We're working hard to remove all the vol uh, valuable treasure our valued guests have misplaced into the pipes. Per, uh, per usual, items recovered from the sewage inhaler will be auctioned off at the start of the month of employee of the Grand Hotel, our Colonial Hotel. Note the sanitation materials will be auctioned off as well. That's empty. I'll see a way over there. You uh, hear about the murder? How the hell could I not have heard about it? We couldn't even leave our rooms earlier while security was too oh, there we go. What the hell's hitting me? Something else. Yeah, wasn't expected that. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, they're in A. A2. Get into these others. Pilot cartridges contain IDs of Halcyon Helen sidekicks who were killed, mortally wounded, mulched, melted, torn to ribbons, decapitated, or turned into mechanicals in the line of duty. Other were otherwise identified post-mortem. Typhon Tim, Olympus Opal, Terra 2 Terry, Sparks the Wonder Candid, Herbages 1900 through 1999, Bolt, Vanderhuge, Eridonist Eve, and Consequential Groundbreaker Maintenance Worker 13B9, Kayla Bison, the broker with four broken limbs. <laughs> broker. Uh, the entire 26th season of the title backers, ID Black and Beyond, individual recognition, stake out Steve Dirk Tenderly. The spectator and thrilling and great adventure of Elaine Norville and Halcyon Helen. And because of the ever resolute uh, Lord Bellhop, Elaine Norville. Ever okay, this guy is in love with her. And he wants to make up his own fantasy story. And he's still a bellhop. <laughs> All right. Lord Bellhop, Elaine Norville has brought this automatic spacer's choice auto pistol now with added explosive ammo which he now held in his big muscular hands a gigantic horde of rabid cannons all dead Elsie and helen looked very beautiful as always with her beautiful eyes and lips and nice shoes she quickly grabbed lord bellhop elaine's norville's hand thank you so much elaine she sighed slowly batting her beautiful eyes at him oh also, slowly, you are the best partner I've ever teamed up with. You are so big and strong and good at shooting. <laughs> I wish I had you with me from day one. Then maybe I wouldn't have to have so many dead sidekicks. Ain't no big deal, purple berry cakes, chuckled Lord Bellhop Elaine Norville as he took a puff from his cigarette, blew the smoke from the barrel of his Spacer's Choice auto pistol at the same time. I'm just a wandering assassin. Being good at shooting stuff is the only part, uh, only because it, I am part of, uh, it's part of, because I am part of my job. Yes, you are. You are so handsome, sighed the beautiful Helen. Thank you, chuckled Lord Bellhop, Elaine Norville. Just then, they started to go for a kiss, but wait, just as the romance was about to happen, suddenly a hand grabbed Elaine's leg. Helen screams. It is me, the dissident lord. I'm here to get you and take your bits and give them to everyone else for free, screams the dissident lord. As the villain began to crawl out of the dirt, his zombie army also crawled to the surface behind him as well. Guess there's only one thing to do, sneered the heroic lord bellhop. As he took a big hammer, a hammersmith flamethrower, out of his pack, or his back pocket. Big pocket. Uh, they've been keeping me secret for just occasion. Time to make a dissonant stakes. And thanks for the sub, Lord Aiken. Or Anakin. Did 
anything else out of this? It's fantasy. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Are you guys gonna attack me still? We get a key. This one I gotta print, maybe up top. Or somebody have one lying around. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Yeah, I know. I know. It's probably uh, where I can't see it. What's it? What does it have to say? Amelia Stillwell escorted Evan to room A2 in lower level of the Grand Colonial Hotel to sleep off whatever is infected. Oh, hey. Me, oh my. How exciting to see you again. This truly has been a day to end all days. I could die happy. Anything you'd like to discuss? Uh, doesn't look like it. No. Only way to get here from back here. All right. Yeah, she doesn't wonder how I got in here. I was a few minutes late with room service earlier today. Guest I was trying to serve shot at me with a revolver. I left a drink and ran. Uh, something like that happened to me once. Hammersmith exec called me up to her room, saying she needed help. Notice. Grand Colonial Hotel service elevator is out of order and will be for the foreseeable future. Please use the stairs to transport all equipment to and from employees' quarters until further notice. Additional liniments will be dispensed for those whose back pain becomes too severe to continue providing the impeccable service for our hotel is known for. There's a key card anywhere. Get anything good for lunch? Felt this great in it. Shouldn't believe so. Um, I thought I saw something upstairs about printing one. Up here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. An industrial grade laxative has been added to the liquor in these bottles. Oh, fantastic. Was it in this office, maybe?
How does one get in that room? I need the key. I thought I saw something printed, but maybe that was in here and I can't do it anymore. The Grand Colonial Front Desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? Do we know how to get in there? Well, those open. Let's see a key. I'm assuming this is to leave the. Yeah. What was the name of the person again? Amelia Stillwell escorted Evan. So Amelia Stillwell. Oh, what the? Oh my law! Amelia Stillwell is. Maybe I can find her. Bell hops. You're not down here. Hotel guests. With Halcyon Helen gone, does that? I really don't know. Maybe there's other uh, doors we can go in. Try that. What do we got? Can we get something to open it? Access static door controls. Unlock C2. Alright. Access messages. This form of tampering with the hotel property is unacceptable. You are not authorized to repair the malfunctioning time clock. I know we're eager to avail your yourself of Rizzo's free tour in exchange for the 10,000 hours on the clock, but you've forgotten where your loyalties lie. By accepting this free tour, you would have unwittingly agreed to become part of the Rizzo's family. You're a slug, not Rizzo's. Or rather, you were a slug. I'm disappointed in you, Robert. Consider this message your termination. So we open C2. 